All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial with Fadip A. Nani on Bogula alarm system using PIR motion sensor. PIR is an acronym for passive infrared sensor. We use it to detect motion. It reads radiation from human body. Okay. Now, to design Bogula alarm system using PIR motion sensor, the following equipments or hardware components are required. The first one is the Arduino Uno, that is this. And then the next thing is the PRR motion sensor. This is the PRR motion sensor. Then we also need a, a piezo speaker or what we call the boozer. <coughs> I have two boozer here. One is passive and then one is, one is active. This is a passive boozer. This is an active boozer. We also need an LED. This is an LED. We also need um, a 220 ohm resistor, 220 ohms resistor. This is 220 ohms resistor. Please make sure you measure it using either an ohms meter or you can use the resistor color code to detect the rate. Uh, resistor to use. We also need a solderless uh, breadboard. This is a solderless breadboard. And then we need as many as possible jumper wires that will go around. So I have jumpers wire here. You can see them. And then um, maybe USB A to B type. Say it here. It's so with this, we have all the needed equipment for this design. So let's uh, quickly do the design. Um, let's do the connection, the circuit connection, and then see how it works. Now we've identified all the required components for this project. We've, uh, we have everything we need. So we quickly uh, do the connection now. In connecting, in doing the wiring for the PR motion sensor, we need three jumper wires. That's male to female. So in this case, I'll be using yellow for signal. Now, when you turn it this to this direction, the middle pin is always for your signal. Then the one at your extreme left, you connect five volts with it. So connect this to the Arduino five volts. And then this one at my extreme right, I connect it to my Arduino ground. Good. So DCC connected to five volts. Make sure you're doing the right thing. Make sure you look very well to avoid errors due to parallax. Good. Now, alternatively, you see, I only have one 5 volts and I have three other components to be connected. So if I connect this to the only 5 volts I have here, that means I will not have another extension. So all I need to do now is let me draw extend this 5 volts here to my breadboard so that I can have enough 5 volts. So, we use, let me use the, re, the red cable. This doesn't matter, but it's, it's good to use this to avoid any confusion. So, 5 volts. So, connecting this 5 volts here means every rail here, every port here, close to this red rail is now 5 volts. Also, connecting ground, tapping from ground, your Arduino ground here, to the breadboard, this blue rail implies every other pin here, hole here, close to this blue rail is now ground. 
Good. Having done that, now let's quickly do this. Position it well. You see? Red to 5 volt. This is 5 volt. So I tap a 5 volt here. Blue is for our signal. And so we are connecting this to pin 8 on our Arduino, the signal pin. So that's how we're going to do the coding. Now, the GND, you connect it to the Arduino ground. So with this, we are done with the PR motion sensor. The next thing is the piezo. Now, the buzzer makes sound. That's just its own function. So, we connect this, plug it anywhere within the breadboard. Good. So, signal. Now we picked from the positive side of the buzzer. Okay, I think we connect our buzzer to pin eight, to pin eight on the Arduino, and then let's use the pull pull switch modulation pin three here for the piezo speaker. Then this buzzer enters pin eight. Good. Now we need power to power this buzzer. We can take just ground. Okay. So pick ground and connect it to the other side of the buzzer, the other leg. The buzzer has two legs. One is ground and then the positive side is always level. The positive side that is level is normally connected to the signal pin, which on our Arduino is pin 8. So I'll connect that to pin 8. So we are done with the buzzer. The next thing now is our LED. This is our LED. You discover that the LED has two legs. One is longer than the other. The longer one is always the positive and the shorter one is the negative. So, we can just connect our uh, LED just like that. We required, um, requires uh, a 220 ohms resistor, else it might get blown off. So, I'm using a 220 ohm resistor for the connection. Good. Now, I will connect my ground to the negative side. And then my signal, I will pick from the positive side. And connect it to pin 13. Now, why am I using pin 13? The, the onboard LED is always is directly connected to pin 13. So once I'm uploading, once there is a flash on the onboard LED here, this other LED too will also blink. So it's just for convenience. I can use any other pin. So you connect this to pin 13. Pin 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, I'm just trying to be sure. That I'm, that's not any mistake. Good. With this, I believe our connection is okay. So, use your USB cable, USB A to B cable, you can see. Connect it to your Arduino, and then to your laptop. Good, you can see that the LED flash, that's to tell you that Yes, yeah, good. Connection I just uh, made, you will discover that from PR to Arduino, 
I connect the VCC of the PRR to five volts on the Arduino. I also connect the GND of the PRR to ground on the Arduino. I also connect the output pin of the PRR to digital pin three on Arduino. Now, the second connection for the buzzer. I connect one pin of the buzzer to the digital pin eight on Arduino and connected the other pin of the buzzer to GND on Arduino. For the LED connection, I connected the LED positive to digital pin 13 on Arduino through a resistor, that's the 220 ohms resistor, and I also connected the LED negative to ground on Arduino. Now, look at this um, sketch here. You discover that we have GND here, we have out. You can see when you turn it, you position it this way. We have GND, we have the output pin, and then we have the VCC. Now, the working of the Bogler LAN system. Now, the PR sensor is a special type of sensor which is usually used for security purposes. It detects objects by reading the infrared radiation emitted by the object. Any object whose temperature is above absolute zero emits radiation. This radiation is not visible to human eyes. The PR sensor is designed to detect this infrared radiation. Now, working. Now, you can see here we have a single trigger and then we also have um, a repeated trigger mode. You can navigate on each of them as you wish. Now, this schematic is what guided my design. Now, I uh, will want us to look at the sketch and then upload it to the Arduino and see how it works. Now, this is the sketch. I just did the coding. Now you can see the buzzer connected to pin 8, LED pin to pin 13, PRR. Now I declare this as integer variables. And then the val 0. Now at the void loop section, at the void loop section here, you will. You see, I declare the boost pin as output, the LED pin as output, the PRR as input. Why? Because it's taking reading from the environment, so it's an input pin. However, why I'm declaring as, uh, as a digital pin in this context, we are we'll using as a digital pin because it's connected to a digital, digital pin 3 instead of the analog pin. And so in our command, we shall be using the command digital read instead of analog read. Now, this, what I'm just doing here is just formatting. It doesn't mean anything. Just formatting the pro, uh, grammar appropriately. Now, to our void loop. Now, this is what we'll be running continuously. In our robotics pro, uh, projects, it is required that once the system is implemented, it continue to work, continue to function by itself with little or no human intervention. And that's why most of the cards that execute the robots are normally put at the loop, void loop function. Now, val, digital read, PRR. The value read from the PRR pin 3 will be assigned to the word value, val. So the variable val will be used to assign the value of the PRR, which is connected to digital pin 3. Now, if val, now, this is a comparison operator is high, meaning that motion is detected. High radiation has been detected by a PR motion sensor. Then digital right, let pin high, let high, which means you should turn on the LED. Also, at the same time, we have digital right, boost high. We've declared boost as our pin, uh, that's the boozer as at pin eight. So it will turn on the boozer. Now, serial print line on our serial monitor now, what, is expect, what we expect to see is that, okay, movement detected. Then 
it should delay for six seconds. We can use three seconds, we can use any other second. Um, but I decided to put six seconds so that that's the duration in which it will last. The system will continue to ring or the light will be turned on for six seconds. The buzzer at the same time will also be ringing for six seconds. After six seconds, it will turn off. And if another motion again, another radiation is detected again, it will turn on. Else, the LED should be turned low and then the buzzer should be turned low. And then it should print on the serial monitor that movement not detected. So, having connected the circuit and plugged it to our laptop, let's do the upload. First, we verify that the code is working. Now, you can see that I've not saved it, so it's, required, it's asking me to save. So, let me save this as project motion sensor. Or let me say project PIR sensor. PIR sensor. Let me see. Motion detector. Motion detector. Good. So we save it. So you can see that it's still compiling. If there is no error, you will see done compiling. Good. Done compiling. That's to say there is no error in the sketch. So we now upload this to our Arduino, and then microcontroller. Good. See, it flashes. It means that the connection is successful, and everything. The program is. And now you can even open the serial monitor to see if there's anything. You can see motion not detected. Motion not detected. Motion not detected. Okay. Now let me move in front of this, and then see what will happen. Or wave my hand. You can see, as I work my hand, it's now sounding. Okay. Now, I'm in front of it now. Yes. Now, I'm leaving the position. Okay. Just leave the position. So, you see, no motion is detected. So, it's turned off. You can see, motion not detected now. That's what is written on the screen. So this is how the system works. So with this, we can implement a lot of security alarm. We can use SIM 800 as an extension for this, in which if this motion is detected, it will send a message to your mobile phone telling you that, okay, motion is detected, an intruder is detected in your house. And at the same time, the alarm system in your house, you can use any speaker, any loud speaker, you know, for the sound. And that may scare the intruder and once the security light is turned on that alone could also scare the world the intruder thank you for watching this video tutorial and i hope it will be helpful to you